So, 6.666 minus, you're going to subtract this from this. Let's do it. 13.56 minus 6.666 equals... six point eight nine five so we take that and put it here and the only reason why we do it this way is because this and this is feet it, it, to let you know six point eight nine four okay six point eight nine four that's the run of this rafter here this is the total run for that rafter, okay, from the top of the stamps all the way to the, the plum cut, okay, which is represented by this line here. Now, let me show you something here. You're subtracting 6.666. You're taking this. You're taking 6.666 from 13.56. Now, Let's let me show you something. This this is a really important detail. This is why they mess up on their roofs. And they can never get these commons to work right, fit right. And when they put the rafters, the commons for the other side to the back of the house. Let's say that this is the front of the house. I don't have the other one drawn for the back of the house. But they have a whole big problem. It just don't run up. All three of these have to like line up perfectly. Now Look at this, 13.56, it goes from here to here. You can see that this line right here is lower than this line. The, the, the differential between this line and this line is 6.666 inches, inches, inches. This right here is feet, 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 okay? So... It's 6.666, that's the difference. So, to get the height here, now the height, because this is 1212, for every inch you're going out, you're going up an inch. For every inch, you're going up an inch, okay? It's not like this one where uh, for every foot you're going up, you're only going up seven inches. But for every foot you're going out, you're going up a foot. So, it's gonna be an inch per inch ratio, okay? With this one, it's not. It's going to be less than an inch. So look at this. This is what you do. Uh, we got our 6.6 6 .66 inch, and that's the buildup for the plate height, okay, from the from the uh, the shallow side, which is a 712 side. Now look at this. We're going to change this 6.869 we're gonna change that. Okay, I think I did something wrong. Let me see. 13, I'm putting 13.56 in the computer, in the calculator. And, yeah, okay. And I'm subtracting, I'm subtra subtracting, okay, 6.666. So this is wrong, 6.666 equals Okay, so this is right, but it's not feet, it's inches. It's inches. So this is right here is six point eight nine four and it's inches. Okay. Now this is not to scale, that's why I don't look that or look right, but it's right, okay. Now we want to change this to feet, okay? 6.894 to feet, you just divide it by 12, simply as that. And that's what you get. 5.74 feet, 0.574 feet, which is exactly the same as 6.894 inches. So we got, we got it in feet, the measurement in feet and inches for this line here. Now, now we have that all taken care of. We, what, what we wanna do is project this all the way out. We wanna project this out, these lines out. 
Okay, this is just how I do it, y'all. You know, now it might not be true to form and all that, but I get I guarantee you one thing, you will understand this. You will understand this. Okay? Now, we're going to have a 16-inch overhang. Now, we already know that 16-inch overhang We already know that a 16 inch overhang, let's see what that's gonna be, is 1.333, okay? Let me show you how to do that. How to change 16 inches into feet. It's really simple. You just divide the 16 by 12. So 16 divided by 12 equals, well, that's wrong. 16 divided by 12 equals 1.333. The 1.333 is feet, okay? You want to add 1.333 to 0.574. So we're going to add plus 0.574 equals 1.907. So we put that right out here. 1.907. And this goes all the way out to the subfascia. It don't go to the inside of the subfascia. It goes to the outside of the subfascia. And so I just want to show you a picture of what that looks like. What it goes outside to the subfascia. All right, let me see. I got a piece of paper here with those markings. Okay, so our measurement of 1.907 is going all the way out to the subfascia, the corner of the subfascia, okay? So we can get our perfect measurements, perfect measurements. It goes all the way out to the subfascia. Now let me show you this. Now let me show you this. The same thing is gonna be up over here. We already know that 16 inches is 1.333 inches. So we do one, I put this down so you can see it. 1.333 plus 1.937 plus 1.937 equals 3.27 feet. So from here to here is 3.327 and this is feet. Now what you do, while that number is still in the calculator, you want to take this number and get this and divide it by this number. And that's going to give you a secant measurement. So what is called a secant measurement? So a cosine. No, it's a secant. So three three point two seven divided by one point. 307 equals and the and and the answer is 1.714 that's our measurement our secant measurement okay that's how you get your secant measurement by dividing to get a secant okay now with this number here you want to take that number that's in the calculator and you want to multiply it by 0.574, the feet, okay? 0.574 feet times 0.574 equals. Now that's going to give you this measurement, 98.984 feet. You see that? So now I know from the common rafter, but in the common rafter, all the way to the center of the hip. It goes to the, this line right here represents the center of the hip. These don't represent, represent the center of the common. They represent the side of the common, okay? The inside of the common, and that represents the inside of the common. But this line right here represents the center of the hip. I find that this is the easiest way to do this. So now, because we divide this number by this number, we get our secant, and then we take that and multiply it by 0.574, and that tells us exactly how much we need to go out, butting from the 
butting the inside of the rafter to here, to the center of the hip rafter. Now watch this. I'm going to show you all this stuff. Now what we do, we're going to figure out this measurement here. This measurement, the run for the hip. Very simple. I keep trying to pick this thing, calculate it up because I'm used to holding it in my hand. But we're going to clear that out. And what we're going to do is just do the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to show you how to do it with the calculator. Very, very simple. So what you do, you're going to put in 0.574, which is this number here. And you're going to square it. Okay? You square the number. Plus, plus 0.984. Plus 0.984. Equals. Now you want to do square root. And the, to do the square root, you just press the square root button. Okay? Let me see. I think I did something wrong. Point. Point five seven four s squared plus point nine. 8, 4 squared equals and then square root. And your answer is 1.139. So we're going to put the plug that number in. One, this is where I, I'm showing you where I write everything if I'm doing a real job. 1.19, I mean 39. I'm looking right at it and still writing something else. 1.139 okay now that's that's what it is in feet okay so what we want to do is turn this into inches to turn it into inches you just multiply it by 12 times 12 equals okay 13 point six seven oh now we got it in inches now the run, the run uh, d d for the uh, hip is different from the commons. The run for the commons. The run for the hip, the segment is 16.97. It's like almost 17. It's like right at, most, most guys just put it on 17. But that's the division. It's not a 12 inch. For hips, it's different. I'm not going to go into try to explain all that because that's going to require a lot of time for me to do. But for the hip, you, you're going to go for every basically 17 inches. I want to be exact. 16.97 inches, you're going to go up a certain amount. But it's always going to be, the hip is always going to be on 16.97. So, what we do is take this 13.670 and divide it by 16.97 equals, okay? And our answer is 0 0.805. And what I do, I put my inch marks here so I know that this is inches. I don't have to do it because I do it all the time. But for this one, I put 16.97. That's what I do, and I circle it. Okay? So I know what this measurement is. I know what this measurement is. I know what this measurement is. Okay? Now, now that we figured out this whole triangle here, okay, this I made this part of the triangle the, the rise. I made this part of the triangle the run. And then I figured out the hypotenuse with the Pythagorean theorem, which I just showed you what it was. All you do is rewind the, the film, the rewind the movie, and you can see that again. Okay? So, and then I divided, I have it in feet, I have it in inches, and then I have it divided in sectors of 16.97. So, now the next thing we want to do is this. We want to divide uh okay what else we want to do here 
we want to let's figure out let's let's figure out what the pitch of the hip is going to be let's figure out what the pitch of the hip is going to be oh you know what another thing i haven't figured out the length of the common rafter for the 12 12 side i should have did that already it was just going to be easy so what for, for that we just do the pythagorean theorem again so we got 6.894 so 6.894 squared that's your square sign plus the same thing 6.894 6.894 squared equals all right then we press square root and our answer okay let me do that over i think i may have messed something up 6.894 squared plus 6.894 squared equals and then square root Let's see here Hmm. Oh, okay. I see. I forgot what I was doing, actually. Okay, let's just see here. Our answer for the length of the rafter from the, the long point of the 812 to the long point of the plum 12, which is the same thing, is 9.749. Now that is feet. We're gonna change that into inches. We change it into inches simply by multiplying it by 12 equals 11.7. No, it's one sixteen point nine nine we're gonna say nine nine five we're just gonna go three places okay and that's inches so nine feet nine point seven nine point seven four nine feet is the same thing as one sixteen and uh ninety nine which is basically one seventeen Okay, these are the same. These are equal measurements. One is just in feet, one is in inches. Now that we figured out the rafter, we know what the run of the common rafter is for the 12-12 side. We know what the rise is for the 12-12 side for the buildup of the plates and everything. Now what we want to do is figure out what the length for the hip is. Very easy, y'all. Very, very easy. What you do... The hip is sitting on the same wall height as the commons. So you're not going to figure for that, that wall height. You're going to figure for this wall height. So we already got this all solved out. We already know what our step off is for the feet. For the, uh, the run, the 16.97 for the hip rafter. So what you do is this. You take uh, six... Point eight nine seven. No, I think it's nine four. To erase with your calculator without erasing the whole number, you just press this back arrow. Okay? And you can put the number in that you intended to put in. So we got six point eight nine four. And that is inches. Okay? And we divide that by this number the inches for this one divided by 13.670 equals and it comes out to 
that's the secant measurement okay so we're going to take that number and put it in here 5.504 okay 0.504 now we're going to take this and multiply it by 16.97 because each division of 16.97 times 16.97 equals 8.55 so that means it's eight basically eight and a half strong 8.55 inches okay and 16.97 inches okay all I did was took the 16.97 and multiply it by the 0 0.504 and that gave me the 8.55 now we're going to figure out the hypotenuse of this simple way you do it you already got that number in there so just square that number just press the squared button okay plus then you're gonna you add 16.97 squared then you press the equal sign then you press the square root sign and now that's your measurement 19 inches 19 inches we could say we go three places 19.5 okay 19.005 it's basically 19 inches that's good so now since we got the 19 we know what for every unit of 16.97 the hip rafter is going up 8.55 inches i hope you can understand that so for every 16.97, the rafter is going up 8.55 inches or eight and a half inches, a little bit over eight and a half inches, okay? And then the hypotenuse for each section is 19 point, it's just 19 inches, okay? So what we do now is take this 19 inches, we already got it in the calculator, and we multiply that by 0 0.805 times Point eight oh five equals let's see here. Okay, I, I multiplied. I'm just trying to see what I did here. Uh 0.805 times 19 inches 